In this video, we'll be taking a look at three NBA games happening on February 10, 2024, and providing you with free team picks and total picks for each one of those games, so six picks in total. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports, let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets as we provide these videos on a daily basis. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these three NBA games. After after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive sports picks to take your journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer our best single picks, parlay picks, and much more. Now let's get started. Philadelphia 76ers vs. Washington Wizards In the upcoming basketball matchup, the Philadelphia 76ers and the Washington Wizards, both hailing from the Eastern Conference, are set to clash on the court in the pursuit of a victory in the nation's capital. This encounter takes place with the teams positioned at opposite ends of the playoff spectrum, adding an intriguing dynamic to the game. The 76ers, currently on the road, are arriving in Washington after facing the Hawks in a home game the previous night. In a parallel scenario, the Wizards traveled to take on the Celtics in their recent outing. Over the course of their regular season history, the 76ers have dominated with a 192-127 overall record against the Wizards, claiming victory in their last four meetings, including a decisive 146-101 triumph at home on December 11, 2023. The Philadelphia 76ers find themselves grappling with a challenging stretch, having lost eight of their last nine games. Eager to break free from a four-game losing streak, they enter this match up fresh from a 127 to 121 defeat against the Hawks. Leading the charge for the 76ers, Kelly Albert Jr. showcased a commendable performance, contributing 28 points and 12 rebounds. Despite the team's collective effort, shooting at a modest 42% from the field and 15 of 45 from beyond the arc, they faced an early deficit of 22 points against the Hawks. The 76ers made a valiant fourth quarter rally, scoring 35 points and injecting excitement into the closing stages of the game. Conversely, the Washington Wizards have encountered their own struggles, losing 11 of their last 13 games. Eager to halt a five-game slide, they suffered a 133-129 road defeat against the Celtics in their most recent outing. Denny Abdija and Corey Kispert emerged as prominent scorers, each notching 24 points, with Bill Kalibli adding 21 points and Jordan Poole contributing 19 points and 5 assists. Despite a strong first half showing with 71 points, the Wizards faltered in the third quarter, succumbing to a 36-16 deficit that ultimately led to a 15-point disadvantage. The Wizards now set their sights on a matchup against the Mavericks following this encounter. Both teams are dealing with significant player absences. The 76ers are without Joe Embiid, D'Anthony Melton, Nicholas Bottom, and Tyrese Maxey, while the Wizards are missing Isaiah Livers and Marvin Bagley. Philadelphia, undergoing roster adjustments post-trade deadline, faces the additional challenge of integrating new pieces amid a slew of injuries. The return of Joel Embiid for a playoff run remains uncertain. On the other side, the struggling Wizards, ranking second worst in scoring defense and facing issues on the glass, confront the departure of Gafford, a significant setback for their rebounding efforts. Despite the 76ers injury woes and the fatigue of a back-to-back -back situation, they hold a favorable position against the struggling Wizards. Washington's defensive struggles, particularly their league-low scoring defense and rebounding issues, create an advantageous scenario for Philadelphia. The 76ers, even without Embiid, possess the ability to score efficiently and exhibit careful ball control. Washington's vulnerabilities in defending the paint, coupled with a high foul rate, are likely to fuel the Philadelphia offense. The 76ers' defensive capabilities should stifle the Wizards' three-point attempts and limit them to one-shot possessions, enhancing their prospects in this matchup. While the 76ers may face challenges with injuries and a back-to-back -back schedule, their competitive spirit and hard-working demeanor contrast with the lackluster performance of the Wizards, particularly on the defensive end. The previous matchup between these teams resulted in a convincing 45-point victory for the 76ers in December. Considering Washington's struggles in back-to-back -back situations, the 76ers are poised to secure a win, even with a depleted roster. Consequently, the Philadelphia 76ers to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick. 
Examining the team's recent performance in terms of over-under outcomes, Philadelphia has seen 29 over, 20 under, and one push in their 50 games this season until Friday night. Positioned in the middle of the league in terms of pace, they average 98.8 possessions per night, leading the league in turnovers with an average of 12 per game. On the other hand, the Wizards have trended towards the under, with 27 games staying below the total out of their 50 contests. Until Friday, ranking 20th in turnovers, they commit an average of 13.7 per game, while leading the league in pace with 102.9 possessions per game. Both teams are navigating the second game of a back-to-back, -back, and the 76ers, missing their star center Joel Embiid, are expected to prioritize low post play over outside shooting. Washington's fast-paced style and porous defense throughout the season have not been accurately reflected in the totals. Despite their offensive inconsistencies, they have a notable 8-2 under record in their last 10 games. The 76ers, boasting a formidable defense, are likely to exploit their advantage in the paint rather than relying on three-pointers. Both teams currently rank in the bottom 10 for three-point success, indicating a propensity towards a lower scoring game. Therefore, under the projected total is our full game total pick. Houston Rockets vs. Atlanta Hawks In a highly consequential showdown set to unfold at State Farm Arena on February 10th, the Houston Rockets are gearing up to face off against the Atlanta Hawks in a game with potential ramifications for both the Western and Eastern Conference standings. Positioned in the middle tier of their respective conferences, both teams find themselves in a critical juncture, urgently seeking a victory to bolster their playoff aspirations. The Rockets, sporting a 23-27 record, are poised to clash with the Hawks, slightly trailing behind at 22-29. This impending matchup transcends the confines of a regular game. It signifies a crucial battle for momentum as the season progresses into its pivotal stages. The Houston Rockets find themselves in a challenging situation, having lost four of their last five games. Aiming to break free from a three-game losing streak, they are coming off a narrow defeat against the Raptors, concluding with a score of 107-104. Dylan Brooks led the charge with 20 points, complemented by Cam Whitmore's 17 points on a commendable 5 of 9 shooting, and Jabari Smith Jr. contributing 12 points and 11 rebounds. The Rockets collectively shot 44% from the field and 15 of 38 from the three-point line. Despite a lackluster start, amassing just 20 points in the first quarter and trailing by as much as 22 points, a spirited fourth quarter rally saw them narrow the deficit to a mere one point with 23.1 seconds remaining. On the other side, the Atlanta Hawks entered the contest in a relatively favorable position having won five of their last seven games. Their recent triumph includes a hard-fought 127-121 road victory against the revamped 76ers. Trey Young orchestrated an impressive performance, amassing 37 points and 12 assists, supported by Onyeka Akinwu's 21 points and Sadik Bay's 18 points and 11 rebounds. As a team, the Hawks maintained a formidable 51% shooting accuracy from the field and connected on 16 of 36 attempts from beyond the arc. Despite storming out with a 37-point first quarter and establishing a 22-point lead, they faced a late resurgence from the 76ers, ultimately securing the win. In terms of player availability, the Raptors are still grappling with the absence of key players Fred Van Vliet and Tari Eason, while the Hawks continue to miss the contributions of DeJount Murray and Patty Mills. Considering the game being hosted in Atlanta, expectations should be tempered for the Houston Rockets, particularly in the second half of a back-to-back. -back. Their defensive struggles against Atlanta at home are likely to persist on the road, where their performance has been notably subpar. The Hawks, consistently averaging 125-plus points per game, hold a significant offensive advantage over the Rockets, who manage an average of 111 points on the road. Houston's challenges and shot accuracy play into Atlanta's offensive strengths, even though the latter team struggles to force misses. The Raptors find themselves in dire need of a win to break free from their recent slump, particularly after falling short against the Rockets in a hard-fought loss. In stark contrast, the Hawks are currently enjoying one of their most successful stretches of the season, evidenced by their recent victory against the shorthanded 76ers, marking their fifth win in the last seven games. While the Atlanta Hawks remain the least effective team in terms of covering spreads in the NBA, their recent string of victories represents a notable improvement in their overall performance this season. The Houston Rockets, conversely, are grappling with an offensive struggle that has hindered their ability to achieve consistent success.
success. Playing at the end of a back-to-back -back only compounds their challenges. Despite the potential for an upset, the Hawks' superior recent form positions them as the more likely team to secure a victory at home. The anticipation for a commanding performance from the Atlanta Hawks on Saturday is palpable. Considering their current form, the Atlanta Hawks to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full-game side pick. Examining Houston's defensive vulnerabilities in away games, where they allow an average of 117 points, aligns with the style of play favored by the Hawks. The latter team thrives on pushing the pace and turning the game into a high-scoring affair. This dynamic was evident in their previous meeting in Houston, resulting in a total of 261 points. The shift in venue to Atlanta further plays into the hands of the Hawks, enhancing their prospects for success. The Rockets' propensity to send opponents to the free-throw line in a high-rate presence an opportune situation for the Hawks to capitalize, given their proficiency in this area. Despite ranking as the second worst team in forcing missed shots this season, the Hawks, led by Trey Young, stand out as an offensive powerhouse, averaging 121.5 points per game, placing them third in the NBA. While their defensive struggles are apparent, allowing a league worst 124 points per game, their consistent scoring from both field goals and beyond the arc sets the stage for a game that is likely to surpass expectations in terms of total points. Considering the offensive capabilities of the Houston Rockets and their modest defensive abilities, betters should anticipate a high-scoring showdown, leaning towards a shootout. The expectation is for an abundance of points in this game, making over the projected total our full-game total pick. Indiana Pacers vs. New York Knicks The upcoming clash between the Indiana Pacers and the New York Knicks promises to be a compelling showdown between two Eastern Conference contenders. Set to take place at Madison Square Garden, these teams have a recent history of intense matchups, with the Knicks securing a 109-105 victory on February 1st, partially avenging their 140-126 loss to the Pacers in December. As the final matchup approaches, the question lingers, will the Knicks celebrate another triumph? in front of their home crowd, or will the Pacers assert their dominance on Saturday night? The Indiana Pacers find themselves in a reasonably good position, having won five of their last nine games. However, they are eager to rebound after a two-game winning streak was abruptly halted by a disappointing 131-109 loss to the Warriors at home. Despite notable individual performances, such as Pascal Siakam's 16 points and 8 rebounds, and Miles Turner's 15 points, the Pacers struggled defensively, conceding a staggering 45 points in the first quarter. Stephen Curry's exceptional 42-point game, fueled by 11 three-pointers, proved to be a significant challenge for the Pacers, who now face the question of whether they can overcome adversity in their upcoming matchup with the Knicks. On the other hand, the New York Knicks, previously riding a nine-game winning streak, have encountered a slight downturn, losing two of their last three games. The most recent setback was a decisive 122-108 defeat to the Mavericks. Despite individual efforts, Efforts, including Don Di Vincenzo's 36 points and a triple-double from Josh Hart, the Knicks struggled to gain traction, falling behind by 20 points early in the game. As they aim to recover from this recent dip in performance, the Knicks are faced with the challenge of playing without key players such as Julius Randle and Og Ananobi, with Jalen Brunson's availability also uncertain. The injury concerns add an element of unpredictability to the matchup, with Tyrese Halliburton and Jalen Smith questionable for the Pacers, while the Knicks continue to miss key contributors. Halliburton's ongoing struggle with a hamstring injury has impacted his consistency, exemplified by a recent game where he could only muster 5 points and 11 assists on a minutes restriction. Despite this, the Pacers enter the game as 4.5-point favorites, a somewhat surprising decision given the Knicks' resilience and the Pacers' previous home victory against them. New York faces its own injury woes, with Jalen Brunson listed as questionable due to an ankle sprain, adding to the absence of Randall and Ananobi. Without a healthy Brunson, the Knicks may struggle to maintain competitiveness, as evidenced in their recent loss to the Mavericks. Despite individual standout performances, including Di Vincenzo's 36 points, Hart's triple-double, and Miles McBride's contribution, the Knicks appear different from the team that enjoyed a nine-game winning streak in the latter half of January. Analyzing the playing styles, the Pacers' vulnerabilities in allowing shots at the rim and defensive rebounding may play into the hands of the Knicks, who can exploit these weaknesses to score effectively. Conversely, the Knicks possess a formidable defense that has the potential to stifle the Pacers, particularly
particularly if Halliburton is not operating at full capacity. Indiana's road struggles, averaging nearly five fewer points per game, could come into play, as demonstrated in their 105-point performance at MSG earlier in the month. Caution is advised when considering bets, especially with uncertainties surrounding player availability. Home court advantage has played a significant role in recent matchups, with the Knicks holding a favorable 2-5 straight up against the spread record in the last seven meetings. The Knicks trade deadline reinforcements bolster their offensive capabilities, potentially tipping the scales in their favor. If Brunson returns, it could further solidify the Knicks' chances, making the New York Knicks to cover the spread as underdogs are full game side pick. Delving into the statistical landscape, the Knicks currently rank 13th in offensive efficiency, scoring 115 points per 100 possessions. However, their offensive firepower will be diminished due to the absence of at least two of their top three scorers. Defensively, under the strategic guidance of coach Tom Thibodeau, the Knicks prioritize a stout defense, ranking 8th in efficiency and conceding only 111 points per 100 possessions. Additionally, their deliberate pace, ranked 27th in the league, suggests some authority methodical approach to controlling the tempo of the game. Examining the Knicks' performance at home in 2024, they have played 13 games, allowing opponents to score at least 115 points only once. The Pacers' previous visit resulted in a 105-point output, indicating that replicating or exceeding this score may be a challenging task for Indiana in the upcoming matchup. Considering the Knicks' offensive limitations due to injuries, a low-scoring affair is anticipated. Accordingly, under the projected total emerges as our full-game total pick, reflecting the expected defensive intensity and offensive challenges faced by both teams. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyzed. Subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.